Hey everybody, good afternoon. Thanks for clicking on and welcome back to another beautiful day here in Waukesha County. Hope you guys are all doing well, especially in this time with the COVID-19 pandemic that's going on in our country and around the world. I wanted to take this time, first of all, to reach out to all of you and say, I hope you guys are all doing well. And second of all, let you know how this will affect the future. And here's a little teaser. It's not going to affect my channel much, but stick around because that's what we're talking about. Okay, so first and foremost, we are all in this stay at home order, depending on what state you're in. But generally speaking, they want us to be staying at home. And I know that means a lot of us can go kind of stir crazy. I personally have been experiencing some of that, and I'm sure you guys have as well. So as some of you, I'm sure are aware, my computer has been having issues. I think I've worked them out, and I do have some episodes stored up, ready to go. I was planning on releasing them every other week or so, but in light of everybody being home and they've probably stretched their Facebook pages and their YouTube pages and their Google searches to the ends of the earth by now, I'm going to make an effort to try and keep you guys at least entertained another 10 to 15 minutes a week. I'm going to start releasing my videos back to a weekly basis. Now, with that being said, we're warming up pretty good right now. All of our lakes here in southeastern Wisconsin are open, but all of the episodes I have right now are ice fishing. So hopefully you guys still have a little bit of an ice fishing itch that needs to be scratched because that's what my next few videos are coming up. So there will be a little bit of a lag before we get to more real time with my videos being released closer to when they actually happened. But again, we're trying to get the videos out to you guys as soon as po possible. So you guys have something to watch while you're stuck at home. Second of all, earlier this week, our governor, Governor Tony Evers, declared what he is calling a safer at home order. Now, what this essentially means is unless you have essential travel or you have a job that you are considered an essential person, you basically need to stay home. And apparently this is going to be enforceable by law enforcement. Uh, I haven't heard the details on how that's going to happen, but the main gist of it is with very few exceptions, you need to stay home. Well, one of those very few exceptions actually happens to be fishing. Here in Wisconsin, we are actually allowed to go out and go fishing, and it's not even necessarily part of our outdoor exercise that we're allowed to do. It actually has verbiage in the order that says fishing is allowed. And so thankfully, my fishing will not be lacking, and hopefully my episodes will be coming soon with more recent videos, more up-to-date videos, and if nothing else, at least I can get out and go fishing. Hopefully, wherever you are, you can as well. It's a great opportunity to get outdoors, isolate yourself, but also spend some quality time with your family, especially since they're probably all stuck at home with you as well, trying to figure out how can we get out and do some activities together. This is a perfect opportunity. So make sure you guys all get out and go fishing with your families. And if you are, for whatever reason, in one of those states, not for whatever reason, it's just where you happen to live. If you do happen to be in one of those states where you don't get to go fishing, and I know some of you out there are in New York, and God bless you guys, uh, hang in there. I know it's tough for you guys right now. But this is a good opportunity to hunker down in your house, be left alone, take your favorite flipping rod and set up a bucket 15 feet away, and just start practicing pitching into your bucket get ready for the spring. And lastly, and certainly not least, in fact, probably the most important for me at least, is we are just a few short days away from April 1st, which for us here in Wisconsin means that we can start fishing for bass as long as it's on a catch and release basis only. 
I don't know if I'm going to be on a new lake or an old lake for that, but while I'm talking about that, I do have one more big piece of information, and it's about my journey to catch a fish in every lake in Waukesha County, and here's what it is. Some of you may remember a rant that I went on maybe a couple months ago talking about my journey to catch a fish in every lake in Waukesha County and some of the measures that some landowners will go to to try and protect a lake that they really have no right to protect because there's a legal access to it. Well, I'm done worrying about that rant. Initially, I think there were 70 lakes. Well, all the lakes that had questionable access, I put mile upon mile on my truck, hour upon hour on my day, and I drove to all of these lakes, and here's what I figured out. Of all the lakes in Waukesha County that the DNR says hold fish, and that have public access to, and they actually have a name, there are 59 of these lakes. Well, I initially started, I think it was at 70, and so taking that big hit of lakes, didn't seem like as exciting as an accomplishment. So I went out and found every possible municipal park also in Waukesha County. And if it had a pond, I added that to the count. So right now, every lake in Waukesha County counts as basically every lake or pond in Waukesha County. If it's a lake, it has a name and it is recognized by DNR as having fish and it has legal access. And if it's a pond, I'm running out of fingers now, we're just gonna keep going. Well, I'm just gonna hope there's fish in them and I'm gonna go ahead and fish those lakes. So that actually brings my total up to 77 and I'll have to double check my count, but I think I've had 18 or 19 of those ponds, lakes total combined with a fish caught. So my numbers might skew a little bit, but right now I'm at 18 down and 59 to go on my journey to catch a fish in every lake in Waukesha County. So make sure you're subscribed right here to 262 Fishing so you can follow my journey to catch a fish in every lake here in Waukesha County. If you're local to Waukesha County, drop a comment down below. Let me know what lake, or I guess now as well, pond, if it's in a municipal park, you'd like me to fish next, and that's where I will go. Also make sure you're subscribed because I do have some exciting content coming up. I'm fishing with another YouTuber. Well, I already have and I filmed it, but that episode is coming out and I do have some other exciting things coming to the channel as well that I think will add an interesting dynamic. But as always folks, remember, it doesn't matter if you go around the world or go around the corner, just as long as you go fishing. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you out on the water.